Hello everyone, all who are in one body of Christ. Our Savior welcomes you to the still and has given us together. Today we'll be meditating upon, let his body live in you. Before we start, let's see what scripture talks about in this topic. Matthew chapter 26, verse 26 to 27. Now, as they were eating, Jesus took bread and after blessing it, broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body. And he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse we have just read. Let's start our discussion with some questions. Why do we eat and drink? What happens to our food when we take it in our bodies? The answer is simple. We eat and drink because we want to live. Without eating or drinking, we can't survive Our body needs to be nourished by what we eat and drink. Now the final question for this passage is why Jesus compared his body with bread and blood with wine and told his disciples to eat and drink them. What I have observed is that Jesus likes to live in his disciples' lives. He gave bread as body and the wine as blood. This passage is accomplishing two things. One is fulfilling the prophecy of Jesus, and second is metamorphically speech to explain to his disciples what is ahead and give them the direction on how they will keep him with him. He encouraged them with the message that though his body will be broken, he will stay in his disciples' body. And to keep that body alive, he gave his blood to keep his body warm, alive, and functional in his disciples' body. He also said, whenever you meet, remember by practicing the same thing. So the next time you are in communion, remember his body and blood going into your body. And when he is in you, you will be strengthened like him and have his courage and wisdom to handle all challenges. He gave his body for them to show that his body will be crushed physically and it metamorphically can survive without blood. This message also gives a promise for Israel. The promise is, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Let's close this time in prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, Mighty Wonderful God, Lord, thank you for your sacrifice for me so I can be saved. Thank you for giving your body and blood so I can live in you and you can live in me. Help me to remember what you have done and have your courage so I can overcome all the challenges. In Jesus' holy name I pray, Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone, and if God bless you, we'll talk to you tomorrow.